when booking a cruise and you go to select your cabin, <laughs> inevitably, this is the screen you get. On the left, the back section, the aft, is the fun, fun section. As you see at the bottom left, sold out. And why is it the fun, fun section? Well, that's where the Lido deck is. And uh, that's where the buffet is, which a lot of people eat at the buffet all day long. So they want their cabin in the back. That gets sold out right away. Then you've got the middle section. Well, that's just the fun section because you're only close to the dining rooms and the casino up above. So what are you left for selecting? The front of the ship, the boring, terrible section, the front of the ship. And why is it the boring, terrible section of the ship? Because you have to get on those elevators. You have to go down to the promenade. You have to walk through the casino. You have to walk to the back of the ship. Then you have to get on the elevators going up to the Lido deck. Terrible. Boring. So nobody wants the front of the ship. The best is the back. Second best is the middle. So you're left with the front of the ship. But I'm telling you that's no problem. Selecting a cabin in the front of the ship. In fact, you can book your cruise much closer to the time of sailing if you select a cabin in the front because those are the last ones to get sold out. So instead of booking your cruise a year in advance, maybe you can book your cruise a month or two weeks in advance because they still haven't sold out the front of the ship. But this is why it doesn't make any difference that you're in the front of the ship. Okay, boo-hoo, your cabin is forward in the front of the ship. And all the action, the pool, the games, the dancing, the music, the buffet, is all in the back of the ship. And you're supposed to go down to the promenade, walk through the shops, walk through the casino, and get on the back and then take the elevator up. Well, this is why people don't want that. But you can take a, you can exit your cabin in the front of the ship and go down that hallway, that long hallway, and you can get to the back elevators without going through the shops and without going through the casino and the other lounges quick and fast and still have the ability to book your cruise late. So don't feel bad about getting a cabin in the front of the ship when you can just quickly walk to the back with no obstacles, no one selling you anything, no one enticing you to gamble and get up there and enjoy the pool and the buffet.